Often, our subject today is strabismus sequent in pediatrics. It affects four percent of children younger than age six years. It's usually an isolated problem in children, but can be occasionally indicate an underlying pathology. Early diagnosis, appropriate referral, and treatment are essential to prevent the development of amblyopia, which is a vision loss, which occur in 30 to 50 percent of children with strabismus. The history should include age of onset, circumstances, eliciting the devi deviation and associated visual compliance, prematurity, prenatal drug exposure, fetal alcohol syndrome, cerebral palsy, developmental delay, chromosomal and genetic anomalies are a risk factor for early onset strabismus. A family history and evaluation of uh, family photographs for corneal light reflex and red reflex may also be helpful. Inward turning ESO or outward turning EXO, a wide flat nasal bridge or prominent uh, epicanthal fold may create an optical illusion of in turning eyes pseudostrabismus. Now how to approach to a baby with strabismus after performing history and physical examination, screening test, red uh, reflex test, corneal light reflex, cover and cover test, alternate cover test, with or without visual acuity in children above the age of three years. If all the results uh, came normal, uh, this is maybe intermittent eye crossing in infant or pseudostrabismus. If it is abnormal result, intermittently abnormal test, this is heterophoria, or abnormal red reflex and or visual loss, this is retinoblastoma or sensory strabismus. Or the abnormality, maybe, is their deviation constant in various direction of gaze, absence of identifiable neurological, mechanical, sensory deficit. If it is in this case, this is maybe infantile isotropia, acquired isotropia, infantile exotropia. If it is not, this is there is restrictive due to mechanical forces, Maybe trauma, Brown syndrome, congenital fibrosis syndrome, Graves ophthalmopathy. Or maybe this is paralytic cranial nerve palsy, third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve. Syndromes like Down syndrome, Mobs syndrome, Baranoid syndrome, Gardenigo syndrome, or mononuclear elevation defect. Congenital or acquired nerve palsy trauma, infection, CNS, tumor, or other lesion, hydrocephalus, post-viral, myasthenia gravis, or ophthalmoplegic migraine. Heterophoria is a latent tendency to deviate. It often occurs with fatigue, illness, stress, or covering one eye and is often asymptomatic. If the heterophoria is significant, might require treatment. In Down syndrome, there is a congenital absence of the six cranial nucleus and anomalous innervation of the lateral rectus muscle. They can have exotropia or isotropia. A defect of the sixth and seventh cranial nerve nuclei result in congenital facial diplopia and defective abduction in Mobis syndrome. Sensory strabismus occur when there is severe vision loss, unilateral or bilateral, and there is subsequent loss of ocular alignment. The term comitant strabismus is used when the extraocular muscles are the nerve innervating uh, and the nerve innervating them are normal. The degree of deviation is constant or relatively constant in all directions of gaze. There is usually no underlying neurological, mechanical, sensory, or other deficit. Paranoid syndrome is a palsy of the vertical gaze, isolated or associated with the pupillary or nuclear oculomotor third cranial nerve palsy, parisis. 
in Gardinigo syndrome, inflammation result in the six cranial uh, six nerve palsy due to nerve entrapment along the petrosphenoidal ligament. Etiologies include otitis media, mastoiditis, and tumor. Monoocular elevation deficiency is an inability to elevate the eye in both abduct adduction and abduction. It may be due to paresis of the superior rectus and inferior oblique muscles, which are elevator muscles or restriction to elevation from a fibrotic inferior rectus muscle. In Brown syndrome, an abnormality of the superior oblique tendon result in inability to elevate the eye in the medial position. Recommended investigation in patients with strabismus, corneal light reflex for children who are not cooperative under the age of 3 years, cover test for children who are cooperative, orbital ultrasonography or CT scan for paralytic strabismus or retinoblastoma. Top tips. The conventional method of eye patching in cetrabismus is associated with a low compliance, social stigma, and stress. In your treatment include liquid crystal display, occlusion glasses, and uh, botulinum injection to the extraocular muscle. The latter method has acceptable safety margins. Corneal light reflex is the most rapid and easily performed test to diagnose strabismus, particularly in children who are uncooperative. Patients with accommodation strabismus across the eye are typically farsighted, hyperopic. Up to the age of 6 months, intermittent strabismus is a normal developmental milestone occurring particularly as outward deviation in about two-thirds of new needs. After the age of six months, it is usually asymptomatic due to a well-developed suppression mechanism. Cetrabismus, red flag, cetrabismus should, ne should never be ignored, it is never outgrow. In a children with any ocular disorder, including sequent, assessment of the visual acuity is essential. Remember that the corneal light reflex is normal in paralytic strabismus. Untreated amblopia reduce vision acuity result in permanent vision impairment. Be aware that children with the intermittent strabismus may present with the excessive rubbing of the eyes and sensitivity to sunlight. Be aware that a fourth cranial nerve palsy causes a contralateral head tilt, which is head tilt to the right caused by the left side palsy, and vice versa. Conversely, a sixth cranial nerve palsy causes head turning toward this, the same side of the palsy. These maneuvers diminish the associated diplopia. Retinoblastoma is most curable if diagnosed early. Death is inevitable if untreated. Retinoblastoma with an incidence of in, uh, 1 in 20,000 birth is the most important cause of acquired strabismus. The tumor also present with the unilateral or bilateral leukocoria, a white pupil, orbital inflammation and or red eye reflex cat eye. Thank you for your listening.